How do you deal with the unions? What are the pluses of the unions? Are there any minuses to, to teachers being in the union? Just the whole issue of union teachers and the board's relationship to that. Uh, and it starts with you, Betsy. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, citing the Chicago strike is a, great, is a great place to start because I think that was the best of what unions have to offer. That not only can they argue for students, I mean for, for teachers' benefits, but they can also argue for the whole instructional package. They can also argue about the, the, um, the quality of life that the teachers have when they're teaching, whether or not they have to teach to tests or whether they can um, in, encourage their kids to be uh, more creative thinkers than that. I am a supporter of teachers' unions. I frankly, uh, too many of the plans that, that I see coming around, like charter schools, are, are secretly intended to throw teachers under the bus, and I don't buy it. I, I, for me, teachers walk on water. I think they deserve all the protections that they can possibly achieve um, I think when we talk about accountability, we're almost never talking about we need more accountability because we need to congratulate people more. We're almost always talking about we need to figure out how we can throw someone under the bus. And so I am a supporter of teachers' unions, um, and I wish that the one that we had in Tucson had more teeth, um, but we live in the state that we live in, and so that is not to be. That is not to be. Philosophically, I believe in unions. There, there's a couple of things that hit my compass a little bit when it comes to this. But let me ask you this question. By a show of hands, how many of you have layoff, layoff protection at your work? Okay, and that's something that has been negotiated in some of the contracts that started about 20 to 25 years ago in the mid 80s. And consistently, when we have these budget uh, challenges, What's going on is that the unions expect language which are crippling the district. Layoff, when you're trying to cut or reduce rather $45 million and everyone and 90% of your budget is employees and salaries and you're trying to make that reduction but everyone is layoff protection, try to do the math and try to figure out how to do that. That is difficult. I believe that previous TUSD boards have allowed some of our unions run amok we need to have a good relationship where we include them. And I have done that in policy work. They help us select our principals at our schools, our superintendent, our leaders. They are part of the conversation, but I don't always philosophically agree with the union that is in Tucson Unified. So we live in a right-to-work state, so we definitely don't have unions running them up. Um, I'm very, very proud. I'm very, very proud to say that I've been endorsed by the Area Labor Federation as well as as the um, TEA, and and I take that very, very, very seriously, and I'm very honored by that. Our our nation has a history. Unions have contributed greatly. Um, teachers are not considered professionals. You know, we are our first year teacher makes thirty three thousand dollars a year. You know, if they were making 133, then you know you don't have to have those kind of protections, most definitely. But until our, until our profession, um, until we are considered professionals, they have to have protection. They most definitely have to have protection. And I'm very, very proud of my nation's the, 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 his, the historical contributions that, that unions have brought. And I'm, again, I'm proud to, to work with them, and um, I look forward to that. It's difficult, I understand that. Negotiations are difficult, but it's a time-honored process, and, and we need to uh, um, respect that. <coughs> I was a member of the union when I worked for the U.S. Postal Service. If we could not go on strike, we had to negotiate in good faith, which we did most of the time. It's the party list. We'll give you additional time. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a debate on there. That's time. <laughs> uh, it's cool to get on Okay. There we go. Okay. Give okay. Me again, please. Start over. I believe uh, unions can serve a purpose. Can we start this one over, please? Give them, give them a full give minute. Give them a full minute. minute. Okay. 
I belong to a union and I work for the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, we could not strike, but we negotiated good faith. We negotiated for benefits, good benefits, good retirement. And my thing about unions is they need to focus on the students and negotiate in good faith, but where it doesn't affect the student as a whole because that should be a number one priority. The teachers is also a priority, especially teachers that do excellent work, teachers that we could keep without losing them to another district, but we also need to look at the teachers that are not performing. What do we do with those teachers that are not performing? Will the union back those teachers where they're not doing an adequate job in the classroom which will affect your children? I am not sure, but I think these unions will also back those teachers that are not doing an adequate job in the classroom. And that can't happen. We need to protect the teachers that are doing an excellent job, recruit teachers that are doing an excellent job, and provide some kind of extra benefit for those teachers because that's really going to help our kids in the classroom. I guess I'm one of the candidates that uh, is under the thumb of the unions because I was endorsed by the AFL-CIO and also by the Pima Area Labor Federation. And of course, there is not only do we have the teachers' union, but we have the unions representing various employees and employee groups within TUSD. Uh, I think that unions uh, can be a wonderful uh, service in the budgeting process. I think what it requires is good faith negotiation. I think it requires boards not to just figure they can tell people what to do and to take it or leave it away but actually negotiate, and I believe that the unions will greatly contribute to our ability to actually get this budget under control. So, uh, yeah, I'm under the thumb of the unions in the sense that I support them. I think they have a great place in America, and I think they can help us in a lot. I think the teachers union and TUSD is well led, has responsible leadership, negotiates in good faith and wants the district to do well. They also provide a valuable information to the board that the board would otherwise have no way to get for if we didn't have the union. Um, the union has not endorsed me, but four former presidents of the teachers union have endorsed me, and I think I have a good and useful relationship with the teachers union. There's a policy issue coming up to the board. Staff has recommended eliminating one of our policies that provides basic protections, including protection against retaliation. I'm going to oppose or sending that policy and we'll be interested to see how that comes out on the board. I want to say thank you to the members of TEA that are in the audience. I too have been endorsed by TEA. Uh, I'm a member of SEIU and I've been endorsed by seven different unions here in town. I would argue that as a member of my union with the county, it provides protections that I myself couldn't go up to, to uh, Mr. Huckleberry's office and, and say, this is what I'd like. Bargaining, strength in numbers, that's what unions provide us. Uh, beyond that, they, they, I mean, historically, they've given us the weekend. I mean, we gotta go back to remembering what these teacher salaries are. Uh, again, we're, we're talking about reducing salaries in, in the district. Well, when you reduce 9% of your salaries, it impacts those folks that are making in the mid 30s or even in the low 40s. It doesn't impact the folks that are making, you know, in the hundreds, hundreds of thousands. And there's not too many positions that have that. But nonetheless, I think it's important that we have our unions advocating for our teachers. Whether or not those teachers are, are up to snuff, I think that that's something that the teachers themselves will be uh, bringing up to the table. And I think we continue as a board to, to advocate for those teachers, but I think we need to, again, to be reminded of what those teachers are doing exactly.